Let's recap what we've talked about thus far. Solving quadratic equations is different than solving linear equations. One of the methods that we can use to solve quadratic equations is by factoring. To solve quadratic equations by factoring, we apply the zero product principle. Remember to apply the zero product principle, we must first check that two conditions are satisfied. First, one side of the equation must be zero, and second, there must be a product on the other side of the equation. When those co two conditions are satisfied, then the zero product principle is applied. If a times b equals zero, then a is zero or b is zero. Let's now work several examples where we're solving quadratic equations by factoring. Example one, solve each quadratic equation. 1a, the quantity 6x plus 5 times the quantity x plus 4 equals zero. Notice our equation is set up perfectly. We have a zero on the right side and a product on the left. Therefore, we can immediately apply the zero factor principle, which says that each of these quantities has to be set equal to zero to find the solutions to this equation. So we take the first factor, 6x plus 5, and we set it equal to zero. 6x plus 5 equals zero. Or x plus 4 has to be zero. Again, this is by the zero factor principle. Let's solve each of these linear equations. In order for 6x plus 5 to equal zero, that means that we have to subtract 5 from both sides, so we get 6x is negative 5, and dividing both sides by 6, this tells us that x would have to be negative 5 sixths. x plus 4 equals 0. Well, this occurs when we subtract both sides by 4, in other words, this occurs when x is negative 4. We can check. When you substitute negative 4 back into this factor, you get negative 4 plus 4, which is 0. Perfect. When you take negative 5 sixths and plug it back into this factor, multiply it by 6, that gives us negative 5 plus 5, that also gives us 0. 0 times anything is 0. Thus, our solution set simply consists of the two numbers, negative 4 and negative 5 sixths. Those two answers solve our quadratic equation. Example 1b, solve the quadratic equation, y squared minus 3y plus 2 equals 0. Now, in order to solve this quadratic equation using the zero factor principle, we need a zero on one side and a product on the other. This time we don't have a product, but we can achieve that by factoring. Let's take the polynomial y squared minus 3y plus 2. We want to factor this side of the polynomial. y squared minus 3y plus 2 factors as y minus 2 times y minus 1. You can check it. Therefore, we have y minus 2 times y minus 1 equals 0. We now have a product on the left side, and we can use the principle which, which tells us that y minus 2 has to be 0, or the factor y minus 1 has to be 0. This means that y has to be 2. Simply add 2 to both sides to achieve that. Or y has to be 1 add 1 to both sides. Double check, if you put 2 in here, 2 minus 2 is 0. That first factor becomes 0. And if you put 1 in here, 1 minus 1 is 0. That factor becomes 0. So that tells us that our solution set is the set of two numbers, 1 and 2, both of which, when substituted back into our original equation, will give us 0 on the right side, thus solving that quadratic equation.